Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we've got the Bolantex Ranger G2 to have a look at. This is a 1200mm 2-in-1 uh, trainer glider or FPV camera plane and it's quite easy to put together but there is more work involved than some of the others you get. It is plug and fly so all you need to do is supply your own battery, receiver and transmitter. So I'm just going to pause it when I take it out of the box because you're not going to fit on the camera. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. So you get some wheels, which I'll discuss with you in a minute. Take that out of there. So this is the fuselage. Now the only thing I have done is I've obviously unboxed it before and I put the stickers on. So it's EPO foam, it's very, very smoothly finished off. It has a spirit level bubble in here. I have no idea why you'd want that. But if you can see in the front, it's got a hole for an FPV camera. And then it has vents in there for to keep the ESC cool. It has rear mounted servos, which I do like. I don't like push rods on the back. I used to have a Bix and the only thing I didn't like about that was the push rod, because after a bit, when the stickers start getting a bit rough on them, they wore through and made them stick. So this is quite an interesting design. So this has clip-in wings, which I'll show you in a second. So the wings clip in here on both sides and then it has a carbon fibre tube which is there which runs through the wings so as you can see it has a wheel on the bottom of here for landing and it also has a tail wheel that goes on here a steerable tail wheel that goes on the rudder but if you've got a decent short grass field to take off from you can put the optional landing gear in so that just clips into that hole and locks into a little plastic piece in there so underneath here you have a lot of room for a lot of things so your battery goes in here you can move the battery there's plenty of room to move your battery up and down to get um center of gravity right and these are the wires that are coming through for the air lines and obviously for the rudder and elevator but you see there's a lot of room in here to get some fpv in so you don't need to have this on so I'm going to do a couple of flights without this on because when I show you the flights you'll see why because this goes in here like that and then that just clips into there like this and then you can put a GoPro etc on there so I'm probably going to fly this with a GoPro on I'm probably not going to put an FPV camera in this one I've got enough things with FPV cameras but I'm just going to put a GoPro on the top of here you can also fit a servo in here so you can have a pan and tilt mechanism so you desire and then you can bring your wires up here but I'm just going to put a GoPro in here and I'll probably power it from inside so it doesn't go flat on the battery and then this piece just clips off like that if you don't want to have that on so in here you also get a prop I think it's a 7x5 this is a 7x5 prop yeah you get all your linkages in here, you've got to fit all these yourself which I'll show you on the wing you get a screwdriver and you get the tail wheel and obviously the prop adapter so like I said I've already put the stickers on this so these are the wings so as you can see what I do like about this it has hinges on the wing so it has hinges you've got to work these if you do buy one of these make sure you work these up because they're quite stiff at the minute so you still ha you still have the normal foam support in the middle but this one has plastic hinges on as you can see it's got carbon fiber running down there and it has got a stiffener running through the wing the wings are quite good actually so what i told you they had clip on wings let me see if i can actually do this and get this so i can get it on camera so if you look at the wing here, it has a little mechanism in there. So that just pushes in. So the idea is you push your wing in and then you just simply lock down. You hear it click and that's your wing in. You would obviously have the carbon fibre spar running through here into both wings and then to remove your wings, simply take it off like that. It is quite nice because a lot of these planes say they've got removable wings but you've got to undo four screws which are normally a sod to get through or they come from the underneath and they're difficult to line up so I do like the wings then you get the tail again your rudder's got plastic hinges on it and so is your elevator and that's a simple matter of they go into here like this 
bit of glue on there if I put it the right way around it'd help wouldn't it? Good job I didn't glue that at this point didn't it? So they go through there like this the two plastic pieces go in there and that's your tail section and that simply screws on with two screws in the bottom a bigger table for planes. It screws in with two screws there. I'll probably put a bit of hot glue on there just to make it a bit more secure. And that's about it. It's really quite simple to build. The only thing that I would say is if you've never built one of these things before, you have to put your own um, mounts on here for your. You have to put your own servo horns on because it doesn't come with any. See where you mount them on this, and the same on the wings. The servos are pre-installed but there's nothing on them so you have to make sure you centre your servos, fir servos first and put your arms on in the centre and then fit the linkages. Make sure you adjust them till you get as level as possible and then obviously you can take the vest out with sub trim if you like before you go flight and then trim it out. So it, this is quite simple, I like the CAG, it's got a CAG spot on there, let me see where it says CG. that is your centre of gravity spot. I'm going to fly this with a 2200 but I believe you can put bigger in so I'm going to try and get a 2650 in just to give me a longer flight time um, but it's going to depend on weight because I do want to balance it with the GoPro but I can get the battery a quite a way back so the idea will be I put the GoPro near the front the battery towards the back and it's quite tail heavy this so I'll probably get away with that I think so that's enough of that I'm going to go build it then I'll come back and show you it built and tell you how I got on with the build and see if there was any snags Okay, so we've got it built as you can see, absolute doddle of a build, it took about 20 minutes, something like that, 25 maybe. So your servos are already pre-installed, so all you have to do is set your servos level with a servo test. You can pick one up for about 3 or 4 quid if you've not got one, they'll just plug into a nickel metal hydride battery. I've actually got uh, a decent one with a battery built into it, but you don't need something like that. And then just have to adjust your rods down to fit. These simply push in. So you push it through the foam and you clip on the little plastic bit on the top here, you see that? And same again, this one actually bolts through, now it bolts through because of the tail wheel goes through here and into there. The tail wheel doesn't fit, when it goes through it goes to about here, it should come to the centre of that hinge obviously, but it doesn't so I haven't put the tail wheel on, I probably wouldn't have done anyway, because although you've probably just seen this has got landing gear on it, it won't be staying on for the flight. Make sure obviously you set your trims up, get these as close as possible, you don't really be want to use sub trim if you can avoid it, you can you just, these are just out really easy. And provided you've got your servo straight in the first place, it won't be too big a job for you. So, inside here, I've fitted uh, an old OFX DSM2, the reason for fitting that is I want to try the jumper on as many things as possible and I've bound it to the jumper T16. So this is another thing and I won't be flying this at any kind of distance, because this isn't going to be for FPV. As you can see I've got a battery in here, I've got a 2650 pushed back and that is giving me a perfect CAG so I, if, when you do something like this, if you're going to fly it on that size battery just add a scored a little line with a screwdriver but you can use the felt tip pen or something and then you know when you go on to fly it's much easier job setting it up. Dead easy job to fit that up and as I say centre of gravity is perfect. I've also mounted a, this is I actually reviewed this a while ago, this is the cheap 40 quid Amazon GoPro copy, it's actually really good at 1080p, 1080p 60 is fantastic, anything over that and you kind of lose it, but yeah really nice camera, but obviously this has added weight, I've got another mount in here that I can put on so it isn't in the plastic cover, but I wanted to put it in here, if I do put this on obviously, and it just clicks in place, but it has made, it obviously knows heavy, so what you need to do in that case is, a 3000 battery fits in here and I've put another mark and it's around, I think the other mark's about here. About there it goes back to and it will balance perfectly. But for the flight I'm about to do, for the maiden I won't be putting the camera on but this is just to show you some kind of options. You can always put an FPV camera in here. What I'm thinking about doing is, if you've seen the SQ13s, if I cut this out of here, I'm going to hot glue an SQ13 in the front of here just enough so I can still get into the controls. I might even mount it upside down because you can obviously flip your video. And I'm thinking about putting the SQ13 on here, just chopping up a way for that. Put it on there, 
because that's the only kind of thing I'm not bothered about having super high quality when I'm for this flying. I'm not going to make this one FPV like I said, got plenty of FPV planes. And they wings, similarly again, all you do is build bulk servo horns on. They have a lovely little gap for your screwdriver to fit in so you can get in there. Same again, these just push through and clip in the other side. Very easy to do. And I think I showed you in the last video how they clipped in. Cabin fiber rod all the way through. And then the wings just clip off, makes it really easy for transport. So like I said, <coughs> relatively quick build. Took as long as I see it, stickers on, I hate stickers. Probably took me long to get the stickers on in the first place. And like I say, this will just pop off because I'll be flying it like this. It'll just be hand launching it and I'll land it on the wheel, which seems quite a nice idea. We don't need anything on I might put some tape on here just to protect the back end, but I'm not going to do anything silly with it. So, enough jabbering. Let's go give it a maiden. I don't know how much you're going to see because I don't really know how much you can pick up on the GoPro, but I'll do my best to show you. You certainly see it take off and land and a little bit of flight in the air. I'll try getting it as close as possible, but yeah. Great build, looks fantastic, went together so nicely. I'm pleased with it so far, so let's see what it flies like. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.